Hello everyone, Boltsaus here again with another deck review, this time East Germany. And I'm going to do East German and West German, not in this video alone, but uh, only those two deck types. Um, since I did a lot of motorized or like really specialized decks in the past, you kind of know what you can get and you know how it's played. Motorized is like mostly uh, a lot of infantry with slightly worse tanks and you know pretty much everything else is the same so I'm not gonna really go through all of that but uh, just do the basic East and West Germany and after that I can do some specialized decks from uh, I don't know something like Poland or something just uh, leave your recommendations down below and I'll do a review on them I pretty much have all types of decks so just let me know which one you want me to do a review on and I'll do it alright so logistics just a fob infantry and heli Command the vehicle, the BMP2, supply truck, and supply helis. My basic, basic loadout. And if you're wondering why I always go for this type of logistics loadout, um, check the previous deck review and you'll probably see that right there. Then, infantry. My first push will probably be FJB40 and MI24Ds. Um, because these guys are basically like SAS. They can deal a lot of damage to infantry, against tanks, and against helicopters. So they're really good all-around infantry with uh, really good stats, like it might only be 50% and 40%, but because of their training and the veterancy, they're like laser accurate pretty much. But yeah, 7 of those guys in MI-24Ds, which also comes with a Yak-B, 64 57mm rockets and 4 AT gems. Then I have the same guys in SPW 60 PBs as my ground assault, always nice to use some in the air and some on the ground. And, uh, you know, in case the ones in MI-24Ds get shot down, you also have some spare on the ground to uh, hold the town until your reinforcements arrive, which would be the Machutz 90 and BMP-2s with uh, really good stats, the SG STG-941 assault rifle and the LMG-944 saw. Interesting weapons, you don't really see these too often, and they also have really good RPG, as you can see, with 24 AP, so these guys will really wreck infantry in no time. They have shock training, so really good against uh, infantry, against other infantry, so they can really hold out long. And I have these Machutes and Unhardened. Um, I don't think it's worth the minus 5 if you go for Veteran, and you know, their training is already good enough. Then, we have the Light Schutzen, which is basically like uh, US Rifleman, or US, I don't know, something, I think Rifleman or something. They also have like the uh, medium ranged. Uh, Cyclos missile. But yeah, these guys have the Metis with 15 AP, 45% accuracy. Not a fast moving ATGM, but really, really awesome. Um, I've used it in previous videos, like uh, three or four videos before this one. I don't know. It might be in. Uh, you should see it. Just look at the uh, playlist that you should see an East German flag and just check that out if you want to see uh, this deck in action. Then we have some PKMs on these guys and a AK 47. Then I forgot about the LSDRs. The LSDRs are really, really amazing. They're basically like FJB40s, but the 90s version of them. They have the Vampire, one of the best RPGs. 24 AP, 70% accuracy, 10 rounds per minute, and really insane range. And they have the Iglus instead of the uh, Trailer 3s. Iglus, 55% accuracy on that. Really good range on helis and airplanes. And they have the STG 943 assault rifle, so these guys will just absolutely wreck anything. Beware though, they only have six of those vampires. So taking down like two heavy tanks from the front might be a challenge. Unless it's, uh, you know, something like a medium tank, like, uh, I don't know, M1 Abram or something. You should be able to take those down pretty quick. But yeah, always try to support those LSDRs with some Machutes and 90 to really, really wreck the enemy tanks. But yeah, that's the infantry. Not a lot of infantry uh, slots, but uh, pretty balanced nonetheless. Then in the support section, my long-range artillery. This is one of my favorite art pieces. Is uh, the SFL HB 2S19. Really good range, 30,000 meters almost. Really tight dispersion, 7 HE and 5 rounds per minute. That's a really, really nice rate of fire right there. It can also shoot at close range against uh, units on the ground. And it has a uh, light machine gun, uh, you know, if infantry comes close. Made a really good RTPs for sniping. I have two of those on, uh, on train. 
Then I have the BM27 cluster, and this is a really fast firing cluster. It, it fires like twice the speed of the um, of the Smirch, I believe. It's really, it's it's just amazing. It has it has five AP power, so most tanks don't. <coughs> Jesus, most tanks don't even have five top armor. So this will this will really deal a lot of damage to tanks. And 16 of those rockets coming out in no time will just absolutely catch the enemy off guard. Then the AA, basically the same as the previous deck review, the FLA SFL 256, the Tungushka, with a really nice auto cannon and the long range uh, Cyclos missile. Then we have the Flakom Tor, and I have not really used this guy in way, you know, enough. This, I don't know, I, I hear a lot of bad reviews about it. People use it and they just miss absolutely everything, like the Crotal or something. But uh, I mean, the stats, they are good, but I don't know, I'm gonna try them out and see for myself how good they are. Insane range on helis and airplanes, 60% accuracy and 7 HE, so pretty much one shot any heli and two shot any air uh, airplanes. Maybe three shot on the A-10, but uh, we'll just have to see about that. Reload time, 30 seconds, so not bad at all, and it has eight of those uh, radar missiles. Pretty pricey unit though. Then the tank section, only heavy tanks this time. No uh, medium tanks like the T-72M1, but really heavy tanks. And the most heavy tank that I have is a T-72S with, it's basically like the T-72S1, but with sphere missiles. And you know, other than that, it has absolutely no difference. I'm gonna actually compare them like this. And in my opinion, this is not really balanced. I mean, for 5 points you can get 4 22 AP, 50% accuracy, really long range AT gems. That should at least be 15 points different, make it like 145 or something. But uh, that would probably mean that they would have to change the prices of all Soviet tanks to make it balanced. So yeah, it's not it's not a big deal, I guess. But yeah, um, T-72S with the Sphere missiles and the normal T-72S1. Recommendation, use these in the front, the ones without the AT gem, and use the one with the Sphere missiles in the back. Make them fire off all AT gems before you move in with the cannon. So yeah, really good uh, tank load out there. Recon MI8R. I tried to find the MI2 row, but it doesn't. It isn't in the uh, East German deck. You can also go for the MI2 with very good optics, but I like the exceptional optics of my helis. So uh, yeah, so that they actually see everything. Then we have the um, the BRM1, basically a uh, low tech BMP. It, ha it does have a cannon, but the uh, main concern of me when I choose recon is the uh, optics, and this guy has exceptional optics. And it's amphibious, so you can do some flanking and uh, hopefully some spanking with that 73mm, but uh, not the best stats on that. Then, recon infantry. I just went for a lot of chem streamers. Um, chem streamers in uh, MI24As to basically fly around and try to do some damage. You might as well go for MI24Ds if you want a, a better better gun or better heli overall it has slightly better AT gems but that Yak-V is just amazing so I'm gonna actually go for that so five of those on MI-24Ds and five of them on SPW 60 PBs and uh, these guys with that dragon off will probably kill like one infantry every shot with that 95% accuracy that's one that's one accurate ass sniper right there it does have RPGs but only two of them so if you're gonna if you see a command and if you're in range make sure you are like 50 meters away from it so that you actually hit because it only has two of them, so might as well make them count. And it has a SMG if it comes in CQC. Vehicle. I actually had these guys for a while. I tried them out. But uh, they don't seem to do as much damage as when the DLC of, you know, in which this unit was in, was in came out like two months ago. Then this unit was really good, but now it's just meh. But I don't know what to change it for. I might actually go for these... Uh, FLAs to really do some heavy damage with that 57mm. Uh, Basically a really low-tech uh, or low-gear automatic, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna switch that out for that. Only 10 points, only twice the point difference. That, okay, that's also not balanced at all. This thing should be 5 points then. But I guess you would see a lot of spam. But yeah, besides uh, that, I have the, the uh, TO-55, the flame tank. Really nice to use in towns. 7 front armor and can also fire off HE shells. So a uh, really nice napalm tank to have. It's basically like a T-55, but with napalm I'm, I'm thinking. Then we have some Conquerors. These really, really nice units. Really fast on and off-road, also amphibious. With 10 Conquerors missiles. 
just one of the best ATGM vehicles in my opinion. It's really fast so it can really back off really quick and uh, you know before the enemy tanks come in range of you you can just back off like 500 meters and just fire off another shell or a missile. It's a really nice unit. Then the heli, heli section I mean, the Mi-24P with the infrared missiles, four of those and they also ha come with the Kokon M and the 30mm Gush and I have the Mi-24P with rockets instead of uh, instead of AA missiles but it does come with a regular Kokon and not the Kokon M but it does have the same Gush so that was pretty much for the uh, pretty much the alley section the Mi-24Ps will of course be used with the FJB-40 my initial assault on the town to take down enemy helicopters before they even get in range so really nice deck to use if you have any suggestions just let me know down below but this is just basically how I like to play it with these decks then the plane section MiG-29 9135 or 13S I believe I don't know you cannot really I don't know it might be 5 oh well it has fire and forget vimples like the previous deck review close range vimples and a 30mm gush 40% ECM really fast and to back that plane up I have some MiG-23 MLs it goes as fast as a MiG-29, but as you can see, it has the MiG-29 has far superior loadouts. But the MiG-23 is basically for uh, finishing off the enemy with uh, that 5 HE, 40% vimple. And uh, if it really gets close, it can hopefully finish it off with the with the Molnia, which is the same exact missile. Actually, no, it's not. Nope. Yeah, pretty good uh, close range missile there, and also the 23 mm cannon if it really need, gets into that dogfight but only 10% ECM versus uh, 40 so really bad plane in my opinion for backup plane I might as well go for like uh, I don't know four hardened lazurs but uh, pretty much has the same stats but is really fast and has six really close range missiles it just fires them like in, in two seconds so it really just uh, overpowers the enemy jets but yeah we're gonna try the uh, MiG-23 ML I had some uh, luck with it in previous games, but uh, we'll just have to see how they do in the future. Then we have the SC-22 M4P, which is the seed variant of the SC-22 M4, and we have the same one as the as an uh, ATGM variant with two Cyclops missiles, really really high AP power, 30 AP on that, so pretty much two shot a uh, Leo 2 or Leo 2 Challenger 2. Yeah, 50% accuracy, and I went for one veteran, so that I uh, actually hit when I fire. I want to make sure that I kill the tank that I aim at. And uh, it also comes with two close range air to air missiles and a 23mm cannon. As for a bomber, we have the MiG 25 RBF. Two of them with eight 500 kilogram bombs. Really nice unit to use. It absolutely wrecks the enemy. Um, I've seen people use MiG 27s and you know they use it quite well, but it has like no ECM and any man pad will probably just wreck it in two seconds. Yeah, that was pretty much it. That was a pretty fast deck review, I think. Um, the next one is going to be West German. And after that, I'm going to keep going into you guys' recommendations. And uh, hopefully I will get some uh, get some more gameplay footage out. Uh, get some new games out. I'm just waiting for February, guys. There's a lot of new games coming out in February. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, if you enjoyed, do all the good stuff, please. Like, subscribe, comment. Share it with your friends. L make them use some of these decks. If you're new to the game, definitely try them out, and I'll see you guys back in the next one.